Hi everyone, it's Christy. I haven't been on here for a long time and I really felt the Lord leading me to do a video. And of course, if God wants you to do something, you do it, right? And so I was originally going to talk about what was going on in our world, the, the face masks, the COVID-19, um, the riots, protesting, and and everything that was going on and I just really felt the Lord leading me that you know we hear so much of that that we are bombarded with it and and people need to hear something positive and and about love and and just something to help people and so that's what I decided to do is jump on here I came across um, a couple of verses and I wanted to read them to you so the first one is 1 John 4.20. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he can see cannot love God whom he cannot see. Proverbs 10.12. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covers all offenses. And this was from Solomon who was known as the wisest man who ever lived in the Bible. And so the first one, that, I mean, that is true. We need to love each other. We need to love no matter if we don't agree with someone. And I think that's the biggest thing right now in, in, in our world is if you don't agree with somebody, then you don't like them or you don't love them. That's not true. And I think that you know you can love somebody and not agree with them and we just need to come together as a human race and and turn towards God I think the one thing um, there's many things wrong with what's going on in the world but one thing is that we took God out of everything and I think we need to start bringing God back because God is love and God wants his people to to love each other and then the second verse in proverbs about hatred stirs up strife which is true we've seen that hatred has stirred up so much strife and and division in our in our country where it doesn't matter what someone else looks like it doesn't matter where they come from what matters is that we can love each other and come together even in our uh, differences and I think that's very important that we start to 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 think like that to to come together because what the what they're trying to do is divide us and what we need to do is come together because we are all Americans um, and the other one is love covers all offenses I mean, you know, people are going to be off offended about many different things, but we should love each other. We should just just step back and take out all the the little tiny things that make people mad and just let them go. Because that's what God's saying to do is love each other, come together, and join each each other in love. And so, you know, tomorrow is going to be the 4th of July and, and we got to remember why we're celebrating it because we came together as a country and for our freedom. And that's what we need to continue that we are in a free country and, and we have freedom of speech. Um, we have freedom of religion. Um, and we need to continue to honor what our forefathers started and so I'm going to say a prayer and and then um, I have one more thing to say after the prayer and then um, and then hope you guys have a great fourth dear Heavenly Father I just come to you and ask you for your guidance your love your wisdom uh, for our nation and for the people of the nation I ask you to be with our president uh, to protect our country that we want to thank you for the love and guidance 
that you've given us. We want to thank you for Jesus, your son, that you gave your son that died on the cross for us. We want to thank you for, for that. And we love you. And it's in your son's precious name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. So then whenever I was uh, looking up verses and everything, this came to my um, my mind. I felt like the Lord was, was saying this. God is calling his people. If my people will rise up in love, it's time to take a stand for your faith. We need to rise up. We need to love. And we need to take a stand for our faith. And take a stand for God. And he loves us. And you guys have a great 4th of July. And, and I'll be seeing you soon. I'm hoping to make more videos regularly. But I'm hoping that, you know, in the next week or two. Alright, have a great day.